All right, welcome to episode two. So we're going to start off the episode just talking about uh, what the progress so far with the layout has been. Starting off here, not much on this end. Most of what I got this way is track work that I've finished since the last update. And I got two sidings down here. And currently trying to figure out what kind of building I want to put in here. Like I said, last update, I think I said I had two ideas, but I added another one, possible cold storage. So, the uh, track work here, mostly ballasted and tie, has ties on it. And I probably said in the last video, but the the switches and the curves, those are from brick tracks. They're uh, interesting to work with. They're injection molded, but they still have issues where you still have to lock stuff either tightened up somehow or whatever, but it's not too bad. I've had... There's another brand of track I have made by Trix Bricks, and there's you have to do a lot more work with theirs. Now, since then, both companies have, or at least other companies have stepped up and made plates that you can put under that covers the whole entire thing. But overall, though, I prefer the brick tracks over the other alternative brands because theirs is the best because, as I said, they were one of the few that were making it. In fact, I think they might have been the only one for a while making an injection molded track. But uh, other than that, this is about all that's really here. Not much to look at at the moment. I'm hoping to do longer update videos at this point, but this is just a short update. Show you guys again what I've been doing. And as far as this corner back here, I don't know what I'm doing yet. Think about maybe here somewhere putting another switch in so I can have another side here for more switching, but we'll see. Other than that, that's pretty much it. So catch you guys in the next video.